Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <music> Subscribe to like, share, don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification, 3 like, leave a comment, Subscribe for subscribe. All right. Our lesson for today is how to write direct and indirect proof. And this is your teacher, Mari Fedonis, for week eight or mathematics eight. Week 7 <clears throat> Okay, what is a proof? A proof is a logical argument in which its statement you make is supported, justified by the given information, definitions, axioms, postulates, theorems, and previously Proven statements. Okay, note an axiom is any mathematical statement that serve as starting point from which other points are logically derived. A postulate is a statement that is accepted without proof. A theorem is a statement accepted after it is proved deductively. Okay, so there are two kinds or two methods in which in writing proofs and these are include direct proof and indirect proof. A direct proof is a type of logical reasoning that uses accepted facts to reason in step-by-step -step manner until the desired statement is obtained. Okay, steps in writing a direct proof. One, assume the statement P is true. Two, use what you know about P and other facts as necessary to deduce that. Another statement Q is true. What is sh to show P is a Q or P is then Q is true. Or the hypothesis, hypothesis and the conclusion is true. Okay, and then we're using the two-column form. No, it's one way of organizing a proof. And this consists of two columns, one for statement and one for reasons. Okay. So we have here an illustrated example. Okay. If two... No, times 3x or the quantity 3x plus 4 is equal to 56, then x is equal to 8. So given 2 uh, quantity 3x plus 4 is equal to 56, prove that is x is equal to 8. Okay, so here is the proof and the statement. Of course, uh, 2 times quantity 3x plus 4 is equal to 56, of course, it's given. And then, uh, 2 times 3x plus 2 times 4 is equal to 56. That is distributive property. Okay, what we do here is let's distribute this one. Okay, so distribute. That's why we get the distributive property. And then simplification. So, we have 2x times uh 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times 4 is 8x is 58. So, so. And then apply the subtraction property of equality. So we have here 8, 8 
56 minus 8 is 48. To simplification, then divide both sides by 6. So 6x divided by 6, so we have x. 48 divided by 6 is 8. So that's division property of equality. And then after simplification, you get your final answer, which is 8. Okay. Okay, so we have index proof. An indirect proof is a type of proof in which a statement to be proved is assumed false by negation. And if the assumption leads to an impossibility, then the statement assumed false has been proved to be true. Okay, steps in writing an indirect proof. So first, identify the statement you want to prove. Assume temporarily that this statement is false by assuming that its opposite is false true and then reasons uh, logically until you reach a uh, contradictions then point out that the desire conclusion must be true because the contradictions proves the temporary assumption false <clears throat> here ex illustrative example for indirect proof Okay, if x is equal to 2, then 3x minus 4 is not equal to 8. Given x equals to 2, prove that 3x minus 8 is not, uh, minus 4 is not equal to 8. So 3x minus 4 is equal to 8, that is true negation, that is indirect proof assumption. 3x minus 4, of course, we use the addition property of equality. So we add 4 here, then, okay, so we have. 3x is equal to 12 through simplification. Then uh, tr using multiplication property of equality, multiply both sides by one third. Okay, so cancel. For, we have canceled the 4 here, or in the 3 here, and 3, 3. So the answer is 4. Through simplification. But x is equal to 4 contradicts the given statements as x is equal to 2. Since our assumption is false, therefore, 3x minus 4 is not equal to 8 is true. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's have this activity 1. Now, fill in the blanks by choosing your answer from the box. Write it in separate sheet of paper. Okay, so these are the choices that we're going to uh, answer on the next activity. So, we have here, um, okay, the given, okay, prove a simplific by simplification. Then, we are using, you're going to use subtraction property of equality and then addition property and multiplication property. Prove that uh, 2 times b plus 1 or quantity b plus 1 minus x, is, then b is equal to negative 4. Okay, two, given 2 times b plus 1 is um, negative 6. Okay, so we have here b is equal to 4. Prove that b is equal to 4. Have, um, okay, so 2 times b plus 1 equals negative 6. Of course, the, the uh, given, no? It's given. Okay, so using the derivative property, so we have 2b plus 2 is equals to negative 6. Okay, so here we have using subtraction property of equality. Okay, subtraction property of equality. Okay. Actually guys, madali lang mag-prove. Asta alam nyo yung theorems na dapat nyo gamitin o kaya yung postulate. Okay. So, it's just easy. Okay, next. So, we have here, therefore, we have 2b is equals to negative 8. So, that's true simplification. Then, uh, divide both sides by 2. Okay. So, that's equals to negative 8 divided by 2. So, uh, that is true, division property of equality. 
Then we have here, V is equal to 4 through simplification. No? Of course, we just simplify. Okay. So that means our assumption is correct that what? Prove that. What are we going to prove here? V is not equal to uh, or B is, B is not equal to 6. So the, the real answer is 4. Okay? So that's it. For questions or clarifications, please leave your comment at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And remember, mathematics is not just about numbers. Much of it is a problem solving and reasoning. Love you all, guys. Uh, see you all. I love you. My To my teams, uh, um, Team Organic Barcanas, YTC International, uh, Foodie Friends, and the Team Solid Family. Love you all, guys. See you. To my students, Grade 8, Connection, my advisory class, creativity and cooperation study harder um, the periodic exam is getting near love you all bye bye